Next night, a man from a dad, sorry, from West Yorkshire is trying to raise awareness of the lung disease cystic fibrosis, which affects around 10,000 people in the UK. The condition is inherited and the typical life expectancy for sufferers is around 47 years old. Now, Simon Whiffin, who is a photographer, has just published a book which focuses, here are a few of them, on 47 people with CF. Now, we'll speak to him and nine-year-old Matilda, who features in the book in a moment, but first, Olivia Ritual looks up what it's like to live with a disease. These ones are your antibiotics, aren't they? Yeah. And we have two of those every day. And these ones are your vitamins. So which one's today? This is Eris. He's a talkative and playful two-year-old boy. He was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis at three weeks old. Every day involves medication, breathing exercises and physiotherapy. So we do this every day, every day, um, for 10, 15 minutes. And it means that it makes it quite hard for us to go out and leave him because we need to make sure that whoever is looking after him knows how to complete all of his care. Ellis's parents, Simon and Heather, had no idea they were both carriers of the gene which causes CF. Since his diagnosis, they've become experts and life is spent trying to avoid things that could make him sick. Anything that involves stagnant water is really, really bad because that, that grows bacteria that are really dangerous. Bottled water we were told to avoid, which again was the complete opposite of what I would have expected. Jacuzzis, mud, you can't play with mud, mud's the worst. Nice deep breath. Treatment for those with CF is improving and sufferers are living longer. But Ellis's future will always be a worry. I hope that he has a really long and healthy life, but there's, I know there will be hospital admissions. Um, a lot of people with cystic fibrosis end up having lung transplants. And obviously that's a massive, massive thing. And that looms on the horizon for me. Um, but yeah, I, I think that we just work every day to keep him well. And that's what we can do for him. So now, as is uh, Matilda, hello. <laughs> Now, Simon, this is a lovely looking book. Um, Thank you. Why was it so important to you to produce this? Um, well, we were thrown into this world of CF, like I think all, all parents are. A lot of people don't know anything about it until it's affecting you or someone that you're close to. Um, and it's, it's very common, but generally people don't understand what it is. And it's one of those strange conditions where you can often be outwardly appear quite well. Um, and that makes it very hard for people to understand quite how serious it can be. Um, so in a lot of ways, people say they don't have the voice to communicate or explain quite how bad things can get. Um, so I wanted to produce something that would, would give a voice to, to those people and, and bring them into one place so you can um, read the stories of various people and get an, an understanding of the real life impact of the condition really. Yeah, these pictures are absolutely stunning. They oh, sort of, uh, tell the story themselves. You're with us now Matilda, you're my favourite because you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just tell me what is it like to have CF? Well, having CF, um, um, it feels, sometimes feels sad to have CF because Everyone else can like you don't you're not the same as everyone else because they don't have to take all the medication and they don't have and they like they can do more things than evening. But you do a lot, don't you? You do so many. Tell us about some of the things that you do. Um, I ski. You do. Yeah. 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 Are you a good skier? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you should give Harry some tips. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a fast skier? Would you say? Um, fairly fast. Yeah, yeah. And it says in this book, because you're on page 14, there's a lovely picture here. It says here that you think it's made you braver. Yeah. Why do you think that? I think it's made me braver because um, I'm not afraid of, like, a lot of things. Like, I'm not afraid of needles. And I'm not afraid to do anything. What, what, what would you think about the future now, Simon? You know, how... Have you got a message that, you, that you'd like to sort of give? Um, well, the, the future's kind of interesting because I've, I've never been um, aware of a condition where things are progressing so quickly in terms of treatments and, and prognosis. Um, but 
there's there's a lot of press, a lot of talk about Candy at the moment. So by pure coincidence, the book was published uh, on the third anniversary of um, or Canby being licensed for the UK. Um, so you know, proven to improve prognosis, but we don't have access to it currently because of various um, financial negotiations. So obviously, as a as a dad of a young boy with CF. Um, as I'm sure all the other parents are, we'd like to see that <laughs> resolved as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, well, you know, we're, we're hopeful of a, of a positive, long, happy... Well, I think the book life. is certainly going to have a, a big impact. Well, I hope so. I mean, I wish that's the main, the main reason for doing thank it. Thank you for that. And thank Matilda, you thank you for coming in. Hope you have a lovely Christmas, by the way.